Hello again, everybody, and welcome to another edition of STEM with Mr. C. We're just gonna jump right in to a little thing I like to call chemistry. That's right, chemistry. Now, what better way to start off a chemistry lesson than by making some butter? Yeah, yeah, you heard me, you heard me, you heard me right. We are gonna be making some butter today. I mean, you know how we do it here. I tell you what materials we need, we do the experiment, and then I talk about what happened and why it works. All right, so for this experiment, you're gonna need some heavy whipping cream, okay? Now, how much? Really depends on how much butter you wanna make, okay? I've got three cups here, and you wanna make sure it's room temperature, right? It just means, Pour a cup or two or three, however, however much you're gonna do, pour it in a jar or a cup and just leave it out for a couple hours, right? That'll be room temperature. So this has been sitting out for about five hours. Um, that's pretty much room temperature, okay? Um, I recommend starting with one cup of whipping cream, right? Heavy whipping cream. Um, don't do, I'm doing three unless you eat that much butter. Um, I, don't, but I do want to show you how cool it looks. Okay, you're gonna need a jar, obviously, to hold that cream. Um, I recommend a jar that's gonna hold more than one cup, meaning you don't want a cup jar and to fill up a cup of whipping cream. There's not gonna be any room for you to shake around your whipping cream, okay? Um, I also recommend you can do this with a glass mason jar. Um, totally fine, but I'm gonna be using marbles to help agitate the cream. Um, I do not recommend using a glass mason jar and having glass marbles um, roll around in there. Uh, it's just glass on glass shaking rapidly. Uh, it just doesn't work. Um, you're gonna probably break the glass, you'll have cream all over yourself, and it's gonna be a mess. So that's why I've got a nice plastic container here. Okay, um, you're also gonna need a sieve, right? And I have one right here. Um, you can also use cheesecloth if you'd like, um, but that's fine, right? I'm gonna use a sieve, and you're gonna need a second jar or a bowl, so I'm using my bowl here, because uh, you're gonna capture the runoff from our experiment. Don't, don't worry, I'll explain what it is. All right, once you have all your materials, go ahead and join me in my lab. And hey, here we are at my lab. <laughs> Good thing we didn't have to go far. All right, so. Like I said, you're gonna pour however much whipping cream you're gonna use, right? I recommend one cup to start off with. You can make as little or as much as you want. Um, and so I have three cups here and I, I let it sit out for about five hours, right? Uh, as long as it's not freezing cold straight from the refrigerator. We'll talk about that. Okay, so now I'm pretty happy with this, okay? And if you don't have your lid on the jar, put your lid on the jar and make sure it is screwed on tightly, right? You don't want this to leak everywhere and, and get cream all over yourself, okay? Um, before you do that, if you're using marbles, one I recommend, they're clean marbles because this is butter. You're likely gonna be eating it, so I'm gonna unscrew my lid. I'm gonna plop. Well, that was fun. Maybe I won't do that next time. <laughs> Two, <laughs> three. Mm, that was good though. Yeah, that's just whipping cream. Okay, oh, that is good. Okay, got this on tight. All right, now what we're gonna do is we are going to shake this, okay? Now, if you got a partner or your mom or your dad, your cousin, your uncle, um, your nephew, your aunt, your niece, whoever, um, you can trade off of them because you're gonna be shaking this for a little bit. Um, how long it really depends um, on the temperature of the, of the cream and how much cream you have in there, okay? So I am gonna set a timer and we're gonna go ahead, uh, no, I'm gonna set my timer and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep track of how long this takes me um, until this turns into butter. So what's gonna happen, okay? Let me just tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna shake it and you're gonna make butter. You're, you're gonna know it's butter. How are you gonna know? Trust me, you'll know. So I'm gonna start the timer. Uh, I may, I'm gonna time lapse this because you don't wanna really see me shake cream for like five minutes. 
Um, and I'm gonna put a little soundtrack to this just because um, I think it is appropriate for this. Um, it'll be a little fun. So here we go. Your marks, get set, go. And there we go. I checked on it, right? Because I was shaking around pretty good. Whew. That was a good, about six minutes of shaking. Not too bad. And so now let's see what deliciousness I have waiting for me. Whew. All right. So, and I have, ooh, that smells good. Mmm, that's butter. Ready? Let's go ahead and get a nice zoom in right here. There we go, down, 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 perfect. And here we go. And you're like, oh my gosh, that's just, nope. That, ladies and gentlemen, is butter. Oh yeah, baby. Look at that butter. Look at that deliciousness out of there. Woo! Can you give me a spoon, bud? I got my assistant O. Can you grab me a spoon? Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. That came out great. Woo! Man, I need to get some toast. Some butter. Get some butter. Thank you, O. Oh, look at that. Oh. Oh, yeah. That is, that's the stuff right there. Now, oh, there's, I don't want to waste any of this. Oh, okay. All right, now we got to do a little taste test. Can you grab me a slice of bread? I'm going to do a little taste test here. And you're probably like, Mr. Stu's not going to eat it. Next to the stove, bud. Oh, 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 that's good. That is good. Oh, that is delicious. Oh. Oh, just regular plain bread's fine. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm gonna get some bread for this, because this is, oh, this is delicious. I mean, that's what three cups of cream will get you. Uh, now, I know my, my marbles are somewhere in here, so obviously I'm gonna wanna uh, rinse this a little bit. Thank you, sir. I just need, one, oh no, one is fine, one is fine. Go put it, no, put it back, yeah, one's fine. Give me like three pieces of bread. I don't need to carb load right now, so I'm, I'm not right. You can have some after. Oh, I was gonna get get down. Look at that a little bread there, a little butter. Do you put any salt in there? No salt. This is just unsalted butter. Okay. Um, we're gonna talk about that. Oh, here we go. You're gonna snuff them. Mmm. Oh, man, that's like. That's good. I like the fancy. Go here. Come on, get down on this, dude. That's good. Get down on this. Here, come here. That's like the fancy, like when you go to like a continental breakfast. Now I'm kind of wondering what it tastes like. And you get that like um, the fancy little whip, whipped butter. Oh yeah, that's good, dude. Is it? Is it actually good? No, it's, do you hear this? Is it actually okay. good? Yeah, man. I'm not gonna. Here we go. I can't hide it like the tooth, like the toothpaste I hid. That was, you know. Oh wow, that was good. Right, it's pretty good, right? Yeah. What do you, what do you think, okay. dude? It's pretty good? Okay. I, I'm I mean, so there's no salt in here. So it's just straight up butter. Uh, unsalted butter that you buy at the store. But, yeah, that's really good. I might put some salt on mine. Yeah, and so, now that we've done this, right? Now that you know how to do this. And, it's really good. Yeah. And now that you all at home trust me, like, yes, you can actually make butter this way. Um, you can actually add stuff to this if you want, right? And do it before you shake it. Um, so if you want to throw some salt in there, get some salted butter, garlic salt. Dude, oh. Get some garlic salt in here. Oh, man. You have to toast it, though. Yeah, you definitely, well, you want to toast the bread. This is, we're just eating it like, I guess we would call this, what, raw toast? Uh-huh. Uh, which is uh, bread. Is it like <laughs> That's right. Isn't that right, baby? You good boy? 
I know you are. You are a good boy. That's what? right. Yeah, Tony wants some butter and he's not authorized to have butter. So, um, anyway, so let's talk about where it's sitting here chowing down. So obviously this is the butter, right? Now, what about all that drainage there? Well, don't throw that away. That's buttermilk. Well, if you like buttermilk pancakes, right? Yeah. Who doesn't like buttermilk pancakes? Use that for your buttermilk. I bit my tongue. Oh my gosh. Ow. So oh, good. Oh, oh. Um, you can use the buttermilk, right? So obviously you're gonna wanna refrigerate it and everything. Uh, the drawback of this is there's no preservatives. There's nothing in this butter, right? It's just straight up cream um, and fat. And, th and that's all it is. So um, this is not gonna go, this is not gonna stay in your fridge for like months and months, right? You got probably a week uh, before this starts to turn bad. Now what you can do, if you wanna keep it from going bad longer, you can rinse this with a little bit of cold water and you wanna get all that buttermilk out of there, right? Cause that's just gonna make it go rancid faster. Um, yeah, that's good. So, but let's talk about, so you can do that, right? You just get some water, cold water, and you're just gonna squeeze with your hand. You can use your hands, just wash your hands. Squeeze all that buttermilk out of there and you got beautiful whipped butter, right? I gotta find the, uh, oh, there's one. This is beautiful. No, oh, there's one marble, right? Kind of marble? Oh, you put marbles in there? Mm-hmm, we're gonna talk about why. Although I think the viewers at home can figure out why we put marbles in there. Now you don't have to do this with marbles, obviously. Uh, let's get that. You don't want. That's a choking hazard. Um, yeah, hashtag choking hazard. Uh, you did not eat a marble. Uh, maybe. Uh, maybe. Here's another one. Okay, I put three marbles in here, so. Yeah, I know. Find, find my other one. If I if you can't find it, I probably. Ate did you, did you chew? Oh, there it is. Oh, sorry. oh, thank goodness. So I didn't eat it, but... No, no. Um, and so, yeah, really, what we're, we're going to talk about the chemistry behind this. You want more? Uh, no, I'm going to put the garlic salt in this. Okay, so after this, we're going to uh, probably add some garlic salt to this. Um, but let me talk about what's going on here. Okay. You, you want to you hang out and see what's going on? Yeah, sure. All right, so hey, O is going to hang out, and we're going to talk about what's going on. Hello, everybody. Oh, hey, there he is, OC right there. Um, yeah, he heard food, and he's like, what? What, what? this food? Um, so anyway, many of the foods that we eat, right, we talk about chemistry, and this isn't like a traditional chemistry with a lab coat and, you know, the goggles and the beakers, right? I mean, but this is chemistry. Okay, well, butter is one of the foods that we eat that's made from chemistry. Um, butter, obviously we figured out, we put heavy whipping cream, okay? Butter is made from cream. Mr. C, what is cream? Well, cream is nothing more than just milk with just a lot of fat, all right? If you've ever gone to the store, thick milk. yeah, it's just thick milk, right? You wanna think about it. Um, you know, you've got the non-fat, 1%, 2% whole milk, uh, then you get the heavy whipping cream and you know half and half heavy whipping cream i mean that's all it's just milk with a lot of fat okay well when we agitated right uh and i don't mean agitated as in hey man what are you doing huh 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 you like that Hi like me. yeah agitating right like getting them upset i don't mean that agitated i mean as in shaking as in agitating right as in your washing machine agitates and spins around well, when you do that with cream, okay, remember, cream is nothing more than just milk with a lot of fat, right? And there's water in milk and there's a lot of fat in milk. When you start shaking it around, that fat starts to glob together, right? Because it's bouncing around in there. And what happens, it starts smashing into each other. And then it separates itself from the liquid, also known as buttermilk Butter. right so it separates itself from that and then this glob of fat it's called butter and this liquid is called the buttermilk now what kind of mixture is this well check it out we've actually already learned this type of mixture and it's called an emulsion right remember when we were doing oil and water right oil and water don't mix uh -huh. right and so you can shake it up as much as you want they're just never gonna mix right it, it's a, an emulsion well, this is a special type of emulsion. We like to call this a colloid, right? And it's made up of very tiny particles, we can see them, uh, of fat dispersed in water, dispersed as in mixed around in water. Okay, so if we shake it up enough, right, we get that fat and that water 
to separate, okay? okay. And that's the chemistry, yeah, go ahead. Some more yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, and so that's the chemistry behind it, it right? <laughs> that's good. No, that's good. You're, you're, you're a growing boy, right? He's growing up. You know, I'm growing I'm out. Up. Yeah, I'm growing up. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, it's funny. Hey, did you hear the crowd? They liked it. Oh, yeah, they, liked uh, yeah, it. they did. They did. Um, so anyway, that's a, a cream is nothing more and milk is nothing more than a colloid. So why do we use heavy whipping cream? Uh, because it has a lot more fat. It's very sick. Um, if you tried this with 2% milk or whole milk, it's just gonna be, you're gonna be shaking for a lot, a lot longer. Heavy whipping cream, get it done in about five to 10 minutes, okay? Um, like I said, safety tip, um, this does not have any preservatives in it, um, so it will go bad faster, it will spoil um, than store-bought butter, okay? Um, it is gonna taste a little different, right? It's, you know, and you can even do a taste test. Taste this compared to whatever brand of butter that you like. Um, and then again, if you like flavorings, salt, garlic salt, Add a little onion in there, maybe a little uh, little paprika. Paprika. Oh, that'd be good. Or maybe you some. Want uh, some paprika. Yeah, oh man, that gets get a little uh, spicy butter. Oh, that'd be good. Um, anyway, so that's the chemistry. There is it's another type of emulsion, and we're just getting those fat molecules to just smash into each other, glob together, and boom, we have butter. And that's why cream doesn't automatically just turn into butter, right? You have to actually separate it and agitate it. Okay, I do have a STEM challenge for you. STEM challenge, it took me about six minutes, six minutes to shake butter, right? And to get it from cream into butter. Six minutes, okay? It's room temperature cream, so I want you, what do you guys think out there, guys and gals? Do you think if I used colder cream, would it take longer or would it take shorter? Mm. What if I used like really warm butter, right? Like let's say I, not warm butter, warm cream. And let's say I maybe put it in the microwave for like 15, 20 seconds and got it nice and warm. Do you think it would take longer or shorter? Okay. We don't know. We don't know, right? I mean, I know the answer, but I want you guys to maybe try and figure out the answer. So if you do figure out the answer, and you try this and you say, Mr. C, it took you six minutes to do this with room temperature uh, cream. I did it with cold butter and it took me minutes. Or I did it with warm butter, warm cream. I keep saying butter because it's like right in front of me. I did it with warm cream and it took me however many minutes, right? Okay, so that's your STEM challenge. Now I'm gonna go ahead and mix this with some garlic salt. I think O's gonna get down on some garlic salt too. Um, this has been STEM with Mr. C. A little chemistry, yummy chemistry. A lot of fun. Uh, all right, anyway, this is Mr. C signing off. OC. OC right here, buddy. Right there. All right, we're going to get some garlic salt bread, and we'll catch you guys next time for some more. STEM with Mr. C. He said it.